A long time St. Louis Alderwoman has not shown up to any of her assigned committees since June. Alderwoman Sharon Tyus has tallied up multiple unexcused absences in recent months. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy learning she has now been removed from one of her assignments. Mitch. Mandy, good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. The missed meetings come as the Board of Aldermen receive a huge pay raise. We've gone through months worth of meetings, finding nearly a dozen that Alderwoman Tyus did not show up for. When we asked her about it, this happened in the monitor behind me. You see her grabbing the mic. She pushed it away because she did not want to answer any questions. Um, I'd like to call the Transportation and Commerce Committee to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Tyus. Not one, two, four, or six, but 11. 11 different committee meetings that the clerk took role, called Alderwoman Sharon Tyus's name, but she's nowhere to be found. Tyus represents St. Louis's 12th Ward. She's not doing her job. Including Annie Morris, who's lived in the Mark Twain neighborhood since 1968. I watched this neighborhood go from beautiful to probably going to be nothing. Moore says she's never met Tyus, but says it's important for North City to be represented at City Hall. I never met her. I never have known her. But I know these. Kings Highway used to be a very beautiful block, and all these streets did too. Do you wish she went to the meetings? Yeah, because we got too many vacant houses. Kids can go in there and get killed. Uh, the woman Tyus. According to the city's website, Tyus is a member of Health and Human Development, but has apparently been kicked off the Transportation and Commerce Committee. Alderwoman Tyus uh, was removed from the committee, so she should not be part of a role. We have rules that govern the Board of Aldermen. One of those rules says that if you miss more than three meetings unexcused without telling the chair that you are meeting, that you will be removed from that committee. Board of Aldermen President Megan Green says the vast majority of board members show up to their committee meetings. Committees are a critical part of the city's government. It's where ideas are hashed out, bills are discussed and ultimately approved before going to the full Board of Aldermen. Green says her office asked each board member if they had a preference on the committee's they'd like to be on. Unfortunately, Alderwoman Tyus never responded to our numerous requests to uh, to ask what her committee preferences were. So we put her where we where we, uh, you know, thought she might be interested in in serving. Some people may call it neglectful. What would you call it? I mean, I, I think that our constituents elect us to show up. Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Alderman Vollmer? Present. Alderwoman Tyus. The Fox Files found instances where Tyus's absence played a ripple effect. We're a little bit delayed uh, getting a quorum here today. But and even held up bills from being approved or sent to the next legislative process. We have two present. We have not established a quorum. Could you contact the president to see if she could get on so we can get this vote out for this grant? Tyus, along with other aldermen, voted in January to give themselves a big pay bump from a little more than $37,000 a year to $72,000. The 12th Ward Alderwoman, first elected to the board back in the 90s, has a good track record of attending the full Board of Aldermen meeting held every Friday. So we asked her for an interview. She said no, then grabbed the mic. That's when we started rolling. The answer is no, and I always interview with you guys. So we can have a good relationship. That is now made up issue. Ask him, did I say I was never on there? I never said I was going to be on the committee. I never attended not one thing. So I could not have been removed because I was not on it. Okay. Do, you, do you hear me? Okay. So you. are you going to be going to the next committee meeting? I'm not on it. Okay. Tyus has strongly supported North City over the years and is known for demanding more resources in her ward. In my community, people say, Ms. Tyus, are you telling me they're going to pay the people out there that's causing problems? And they're supposed to get out and stop the violence, but they don't put any money into black middle class people who take their houses, keep them up. My fights were always about my community because people try to uh, marginalized North St. Louis. There are other neighborhoods that exist. So when you do this, you lose me um, because you're not working on my project that I've been talking about for much longer. The 12th Ward Alderwoman may be a no-show at her committee meetings, but when she's present at the full board meeting, she's certainly present. I love a good fight. The more you come after me, the better I get. 
Alderwoman Tyus is still a member of the Health and Human Development Committee. They're scheduled to discuss two grants totaling $725,000 on Thursday. But as you heard her say, she never agreed to be on any of the committee assignments. So she's expected not to be there. For the Fox Files, I'm Mitch McCoy. Okay, Mitch, so she's not on the Transportation and Commerce Committee. So what does the city do at this point? So she's still on the Health and Human Development Committee. It's all about the unexcused absences. Uh, and, and Megan Green, the president of the board, made it clear if, if an older person calls and says we can't make it, that would be an excused absence. Mm -hmm. So according to the city, she has these three unexcused absences, or at least according to Shane Cohn, uh, that we heard in the committee meeting. So uh, as, as far as it goes, she'll still be a member of the Committee of the Whole, which is all of your older people. She was present on, on the Zoom meeting where they were talking about the ramp settlement money. So um, she's on that committee. She was in that meeting. She's just not on the other two. All right, Mitch, thank you.